In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can recover a lost private key. So what I've done here is I've just come into my Microsoft Management Console. I've added the certificate snap in, and what we can see here is I've got two certificates. This is me as administrator. I've got one as my key recovery agent, and I've got the other one for my secure email. So first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to simulate the loss of a private key. And the way we're going to do that is I'm just going to right click on my key and I'm going to click delete. Then we'll say yes. It's telling me here that when I do select next, I won't be able to read any encrypted data by using the certificate. I'm 100% sure I do want to delete it and I've done it completely by mistake. All right, so now I've done that, let's just go to my certification authority snap in. And what we've done here is I've just highlighted this huge certificates. And what we can see here is this is the certificate I've actually got rid of. So what we want to do at this point here is we want to be able to recover this private key. And what I need from there is I need the serial number. So in order to get hold of this, all I'm going to do at this point here is just double click this certificate. And what I want is I want the serial number. So if I just come to details at this point here, we should be able to find the serial number. And here it is here. So the easiest way to actually write this down is to just do a, a copy and paste into Notepad. So all I'll do here is I'll just highlight the entire serial number. I'll just control C that. And then all we'll do at this point here is we're just going to stick that into Notepad. And what I've done here is I've just removed all the spaces. So the next thing I want to do here is I just want to launch up a command prompt and run that as administrator. So all I'm going to do here, type in CMD, right click on command prompt, and then run that as administrator. We'll just move this into the root, we'll just clear the screen off, and the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to type in the little command list just so that we can get the um, certificate get key. So in order to do that I'm just going to issue the command, I'm just going to issue a cert util hyphen get key and then space the serial number and then output blob and hit return key. So that's now run successfully. So now let's just go into um, the C drive and get a listing of the files there. So what I'm going to do at this point here, just come into Windows Explorer, go to the C drive and just ensure that I do have the output blob, which I do. So we can close that down. And now all we'll do is we'll just clear the screen off. And now what we'll do here is we'll just do a cert util with hyphen recovery key and create the recover.pfx file. So we're just going to issue this cert util hyphen recover key output blob in the file I just created and recover pfx. We'll specify the password. We'll confirm the password. And as we can see, the command has completed successfully. Next thing we need to do is just reinstall the certificate. So all we'll do here is we'll come back down to Windows Explorer. We'll right click on the recover.pfx. We'll open this up with crypto shell extensions. And what we'll do here is we'll do for current user. So select next. File name, yep, that is definitely correct. So select next. And then we just need to put in our password. And select next. Just on the certificate store here, we'll automatically select the certificate store based on the type of certificate and select next. Now we'll select finish. And we can see the import was successful, so select OK. Next thing to do here is just go back to our certificate snapping. So if we come down to our certificate snap in, uh, what we can see here is we do indeed have this certificate back. And that's the end of this demonstration of recovering a private key. Thank you.